Welcome to the Oracle Cloud VMware Solution Deployment Demo. In this video, we will demonstrate the deployment of a VMware software-defined data center on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Oracle Cloud VMware Solution is a joint partnership between Oracle and VMware to provide users the best of VMware in the Oracle Cloud. Oracle Cloud VMware Solution includes vCenter, vSphere, NSXT, vSAN, and VMware ACX as part of the solution. VMware ACX is key to enabling hybrid cloud. Let's proceed with deploying an Oracle Cloud VMware Solution instance. I've made sure I'm in the correct region in which I want to deploy the SDDC. Moving to the upper left, I click on the burger icon. Under Hybrid, VMware Solution is where existing Oracle Cloud VMware Solution instances can be found and where new VMware SDDCs can be deployed. The widget is straightforward. Name the SDDC. Confirm that you want to deploy VMware ACX or not. In this instance, I will deploy VMware ACX with a license level of Advanced. If you choose not to deploy VMware ACX during the initial build of the SDDC, you cannot install it later. The version of vSphere to be deployed is also selected. How long do you plan on keeping the cluster around? There are a few options here to choose from. Pick what is appropriate for your use case. How many hosts? I will go with the minimum for demo purposes. The prefix name of the ESXi host is auto-filled by the name of the SDDC. I will leave that as is. You may customize if you wish to. Utilizing SSH keys is the preferred method over passwords that Oracle requires when connecting to ESXi hosts via SSH. Depending on the operating system and or SSH client you're using, the process to generate an SSH key pair varies. I have a Mac, so I use the terminal application to generate my key. Selecting the AD, I will deploy the SDDC in. Remember, SDDCs cannot span multiple availability domains. On to the network page. Select the virtual cloud network the SDDC will be deployed in. The 10 subnets for vSphere 7 will be created during this process. Next, I will enter a SDDC CIDR that will be used to provision the subnet and VLANs the SDDC will utilize. There is a minimum of a slash 21 required. Scrolling past the subnet and VLANs that will be provisioned from the slash 21 that I just entered above, Last is the SDDC workload network. This is the first port group that will be created in NSXT for your VMware virtual machines. Let's review. All the information that was entered in the basic information page is displayed along with the networking that was just entered. This is the final review before kicking off the deployment. Now I will build the SDDC. In real time, this portion of the deployment took just over two hours. No more data entry is required. And once the status bar reaches 100%, the deployment of the SEC will be complete. This concludes the video on deploying the Oracle Cloud VMware solution.